Hi guys. In this lecture, we'll see uh, if we can create multiple Spark sessions in a single Spark job. Whenever I talk about Spark session, it is again uh, we are discussing about Spark 2.x and above, right? Let me just create a job and see if we can create multiple Spark sessions in a single job. Multiple Spark sessions, right? And uh, let me create a main method. Args array string unit. Now, let me create a Spark a session as a Spark Spark session dot builder, and I'll dot set. Uh, master, sorry. master as local and uh, app name as uh, creating multiple spark sessions, right? And I'll get or create now. Similarly, this is my Spark session one. Uh, let me just create as uh, Spark session one. And now I'll create another variable Spark session two. And I'll use same thing. I'll use the same content to create my Spark. Right, I have now two uh, created two Spark sessions. Uh, let me create an RDD, RDD one as the Spark session one. Dot Spark context dot parallelize, and I'll use array of one comma two comma three comma four comma five. And similarly, I'll create an RDD two. RDD two, and I'll use Spark. Let me correct rdd one dot collect and rdd two dot collect. Right? What uh, have created two different Spark sessions and uh, and I have uh, used this uh, Spark uh, rdd one. I have created rdd one using Spark session one and rdd two using Spark session two. Uh, let's try to run the program and see if it uh, supports Spark. Uh, two spark sessions and looks like our program is running absolutely fine and we have not displayed any data so collect and I'll do for each print and same thing I'll apply here for each print alarm right at least we uh, we understood that we are not a uh, we can create more than one spark session in a single job let's see if we are getting a proper result and the rdds are creating properly or not so i'll create the spark i'll run the job again let's see if we are able to create the data and yes you can see the data is being uh, created properly and you can see the two uh, Two data are, are of the same uh, uh, right low. So to make it clear, uh, let me create this with a different name. Uh, data six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Now let me run this code again. And you can see that there are two different Spark sessions running, and. Uh, you can you are able to run uh, collect from multiple Spark sessions dot scalar, which is a program, and uh, we are able to execute the program without any errors, right? Start the starting from Spark 2.x version, you can create more than one Spark session in your code, and uh, internally it uh, it uh, it uses a mechanism for sharing the Spark sessions, and you can uh, 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 go back and forth between the Spark sessions, and you can uh, run your uh, jobs, right? So if you are running Spark 1.x, you cannot create any uh, more than one Spark context. But if you are using Spark 2.x, you can create 
more than one spark session in a single job right this is a great deal when you're working with multiple spark sessions and when you have need for running multiple spark sessions in your job uh, spark 2.x is a bit, bit better fit for your application or for your job okay guys uh, that's it for this lecture guys and uh, see you in the next lecture bye guys